You know, this movie was all right, but it, I think it would have been hilarious if Beetlejuice would have been recasted, right? Because no one else can play Beetlejuice like Michael Keaton. And I mean, Michael Keaton's still Batman, so why not bring him back as Beetlejuice? So congrats, Tim Burton. I just want to say thank you for bringing back Michael Keaton, because if he didn't and he did recast someone, like I went to go see the Beetlejuice play at the Pantages, you know, here in L.A., and the guy that played him was cool, but it's, it's you know, there's no Michael Keaton. It's not the actual Beetlejuice, you know what I'm saying? So I'm glad that he was brought back and then you know calling it beetlejuice beetlejuice all right it makes sense right beetlejuice 2 beetlejuice 2 so they'll call it beetlejuice beetlejuice <laughs> it only makes sense um and having most of the cast come back it was fat you know it was just awesome that it was a legitimate sequel instead of it just being like a weird rebooted sequel you know where it's just like different actors or whatever but i don't know if this movie really needed a sequel you know and honestly it was all right but the way that this film ended i can clearly see production of the next film go ahead you know and of course it would be called oh, fuck it beetlejuice 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 <laughs> The juice is loose. But you gotta admit, that would be absolutely hilarious because he would be the only director in the history of cinema to make a trilogy using the same name. I mean, like six times over. Just genius. <laughs> so this movie follows, you know, the Dietz family uh, having a reunion mourning the death of their grandfather and in them, you know, spending time together multiple villains um come to come to fruition it's ridiculous you have lydia's boyfriend rory who is um trying to con a wedding out of her because he's trying to marry her to get more money and to you know have their show succeed it turns out together they run a show where lydia is a medium and then they have this character jeremy who her daughter astrid ends up befriending but it turns out he's actually dead right she hits her head on a tree and now she can also see dead people uh, like her mom and even though she resents her mom now she realizes what her mom has to go through because you know sometimes you see ghosts and they could be friendly and i guess some other times they just try to kill you and take your soul <laughs> and she ends up getting pulled into the afterlife by this this jeremy kid uh, because he wants to trade her soul for his so then that's pretty bad and then because of that third villain would be beetlejuice of course because beetlejuice wants to still marry lydia and lydia makes a deal with beetlejuice that hey if i if i marry you will you help me save my daughter and then actually the fourth villain comes in right and the fourth villain is monica bellucci's uh, ex-wife i don't even think they have they give her a name uh, but she's beetlejuice's ex-wife and apparently back in the day she like tried to poison him or she did poison him because she needed to like sacrifice his soul to to give herself like everlasting life or whatever but in the process of him dying he was able to kill her and chopped her up into a bunch of pieces and now she has resurrected herself somehow by the power of floor buffering <laughs> by the a janitor by played by none other than danny devito it's just so random but again i don't, i feel like this movie didn't have to be made it was just the musical numbers were unnecessary and like whatever i mean the the, the shrunken head crew were, were pretty epic they were very funny william defoe does play this like awesome actor detective who is an actor playing a detective but when he he died doing his own stunts <laughs> so that's why he's awesome but for the most part yeah it was just like a really random sequel again i'm glad that everyone was brought back but i still don't think this movie needed to be made and it ended on such like a lame quick note that if they made a third one it would probably be just so much better to wrap up this story than the way they ended it because the whole time, Monica Bellucci just sucks everybody's soul out, but at the end, she legit just sucked. She didn't do anything, and she died so quickly, but I don't think she died. I think she's going to be back. I think they should just make a third one, call it a day, Beetlejuice, 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 and I don't know. I think it would be just so much better. Jenna Ortega is practically playing Wednesday in this in this film, too, so, I mean... It makes sense that she would feel ostracized by her mom, that her mom cares more about the dead than the living. But it's just like, you know, the fact that she even has a daughter and that she didn't like love her daughter and that she is this timid woman. It's like, mm, I feel like she should have been more hard because at the end of the first Beetlejuice, she's like dancing with ghosts and shit. And so I don't see why she would all of a sudden be worn down or tired from it. She should be like this strong, independent woman. I'm surprised she's not. <laughs> but... Yeah, if you want to watch it, Beetles two, Beetlejuice 2, I mean, it's definitely, you know, made for the fans of Beetlejuice. But like I said, um, 
it was, it was all right. But it's been Ghost in the Craig. Thank you so much for tuning in, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the afterlife.